Hey guys, this is Josiah with Mock Motion. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of tool setups with our auto tool setter or a manual tool setter. So let's get started. First off, we're going to go through an auto tool setter here, and I'm going to do this with a fixed location. Um, this would be used for a bed mill style machine, maybe on a VMC or any bed mill machine. Um, this would not be used on a knee mill where you've got a random position of the actual knee. So first we're going to go through fixed and then we'll get to the random next. So for fixed location here, I've got a defined tool setter position. Now this was defined over in our parameters. If I scroll down to measuring and offsets, this is right here tool setter gauge block position. And that's the actual machine coordinate position of the bed of the mill. So that's been already already set up there so we're just going to use that and then I've also got my tool setter height and that's the actual um, height of my auto tool setter device um, and then in in manual that would be your your gauge block or your your one two three block sizing there but so we've got our tool setter position and our tool setter height configured so I'm just going to go ahead and push auto calculate tool length and we're going to go to the XY coordinates that are predefined in the parameters um, I'll show you those in a second, but this would go down and run a probe routine to the actual tool setter device. So we'll watch the watch the tool, touch the device, back off a distance, come in at a slower feed rate, and actually grab the tool length. So we can see now that the tool length has been populated for this tool number three. Um, we've also got set tool range. This is mostly useful on a machine with a tool changer, so this might be on a... Um, on a router or a, a mill with a carousel changer, but I can set I want three through, or we'll go back to two, what do I have? I'll just do three and four. This could be a whole range of tools though that I want to set. And I can run auto calculate on that whole range. That's going to calculate tool number three first, and then it'll run an auto change routine over to tool number four and set the same routine for that tool also. So let this routine run through. I'm going to set to the device. Slow down, set again. It's going to run back up. We're going to run through our auto change routine. There's tool number four. I'm coming back in with a feed rate move for the touch off on tool number four. So this was a quick demonstration of the fixed location for your tool setter. Um, I'm now going to demonstrate how you could do a very similar thing with the manual tool setter if you didn't have an actual auto device like this. Um, we're going to go down to measuring and offsets here and switch the tool setter type from auto to manual. This is now going to repopulate that section of the screen. You've kind of got a bitmap here showing you. This would be like with a one, two, three block to your table. You've got the same tool setter position, but now instead of um, the probing routine, you're going to manually jog your machine um, to the actual location of your manual setter. Um, so I've just got a manual setter over here on my vise. And I'll just jog this down. You could do this just with a one, two, three block. You could run your spindle to a piece of paper, however you, you want to get to a known location. Um, I really like these little gauge blocks from Shars. Uh, but here we go, just bring it down. I'm just going to do this pretty crudely here, but bring this down to a zero point. And then I can just, if I go into unlock mode, and then I can click uh, manual calculate tool length here, um, which is just going to take my current position with my gauge block height at this tool setter position, which was currently defined as the the um, bed of this machine, and we're actually touching off on the vise here, so that don't let that confuse you, but the setter would be as if it were sitting on the table of the machine. And then I click Calculate Tool Length, verify that I want to calculate it, and the actual length of the tool would be manual, manually calculated there instead of with a probe routine. So that's simply how you could use a a manual device instead of an auto tool setter. Um, and then at this point I'm going to go through how you would use this on a random machine. 
Um, so like a knee mill where you can move your knee up and down. Okay, at this point I'm going to show you how you would use the tool setter routine for a uh, random style machine. If you had a knee mill, then this tool setter gauge block position, you don't have a fixed position for that um, table anymore since your knee can go up and down. So we're going to switch that to a random style. Um, I'm going to save those parameters and go back to my tool offset. And now you'll see here within my tool offsets, I've got calculate setter position and calculate tool length. Um, so I'm going to show you here real quick. We've got a just a block under here because we're actually on a bed mill. Uh, but let's say we crank the knee up a couple inches and we don't know where we really are anymore. So I would bring my tool down to my setter. Um, and I'll bring this in real quick to zero. Uh, and at this point, I'd calculate my setter position. I know the tool length. I'm using a tool that's already been pre-configured. I know my gauge block height. So when I calculate setter position, it's going to calculate where the actual lower position of the setter is and use that for my new knee position. Now once I've set this setter uh, position of the new knee position without moving the knee, now I can set up all my tools at this new position. So I could then go back to my previous tool here. It's going to run an auto tool change routine on this machine, but you could manually load your new tool in. And now with this new tool in here, I can jog this down manually. Bring it to my manual tool setter at this new known knee position. Bring that into zero real quick. And then I can manually calculate tool length once again at this position. And I get the same um, tool length that, that I would have gotten at any knee position. So once again, this was a quick demonstration of how to use our tool setup routines for a random position or a fixed position um, tool setter. Thanks for watching.